Hey moped lovers, I figured I would do a little rundown on the last three uh, top tank mopeds that I have. Uh, I've had many, many over the years and these are the three that I've kept because they were my favorites, I guess. Um, and I figured I'd do a video before I end up selling them and never see them again. So yeah, just a little rundown and what years they are and why I kept them, I guess. So this first one here, it is a 76 Teroct Turismo 49, made in Spain. A great bike, uh, runs, drives, a little higher in kilometers. I think there's like 1,600 miles. Uh, great bike. This is a Bombardier Eagle 3 with a Sax S5 motor in it, I believe. Uh, dressed up like a cafe racer. That was the main reason why I bought this. And it's a bigger bike. Uh, low, low kilometers. It's got that 434 miles. Just another bike that, and this is one that we ride all the time too. Uh, we definitely put more of that kilometers from us riding it. Uh, this here is Batavius HS50. This is a 74, 76. No, I can't remember. All original, uh, very low miles, 127. And I think I picked it up with only like 50 original on it and very clean, very nice looking bike. Um, yeah, I don't know what got us into these mopeds other than on the weekends after we got done riding our bikes and quads and all that, we get bored. Uh, not enough time to go out for a quick ride, so we would uh, take the mopeds out, me and my son, down the streets and cruise around. Uh, just a blast to ride and always fun. Very easy, very simple. These are all got, you know, one speeds and you can still get parts for them, which is really nice. I mean, these Vespas, they're great and all and, you know, they're highly collectible and they're just, they're overrated. I love Vespas, don't get me wrong, but the little pedaled uh, mopeds, it's, <laughs> it's where it's at, I guess. Yeah, so I mean they're all for sale and definitely aren't gonna be around for too much longer. And yeah, I wish I could go for a little boot right now, but it's raining. Alright, have fun bud. Bye.